Hello guys, how are you? Today we are talking about how to check your thermostat, your cooling fan, um, how to put your antifreeze. Uh, I'm doing this today because my radiator was leaking. Uh, it was repaired by a certified company. It was leaking over here on the sealant. Um, more of that later. I need to put my cooling fan on the radiator and you don't need to raise up your Alpha 75, at least for this job. Why did I lift my car on the jack stands? It's just because, uh, as you may know by now, I did uh, have almost have an accident with this car, but it's all okay now. So let me, let me show you here what did I find with the torsion bar. Now, it was the torsion bar that broke, and I thought at first, well, maybe the torsion bar had some, some corrosion that passed through the bar, but uh, no, it did not. My guess is, in, uh, you guys, the, the metallurgic guys, can tell me this. This bar is not, not nothing more than a bar that is twisted when it's being built, and then uh, it, it is treated by, by heat. Um, and th this bar can only work on one position. It can only work on the, the, the clockwise in relation to the, when it's be being built, it's being uh, twisted in one direction. Is, is that the direction it should be used at all times? If you take out this bar, if you put it in the wrong way, I think this is the result. If you see it, it it's untwisted. It broke because it was mounted the wrong way. That is my thought. Tell me on the comments below if you think that is true or not. So, if you want to check it out, it was like this and it broke. You can imagine my <laughs> my handle, my handling uh, skills, uh, good or not, save me. So, why do you think this leak happened? It's because it's old or bad quality? None of the above. This leak happened just because lack of maintenance. That's right. Uh, this radiator here is composed by the center part and the two plastic parts here that hold the most, most of the water. And um, they are held together by clamping force and an o-ring, a sealant on both sides here. You may see by now that the corrosion, the, the, the water corrodes um, metals, okay, but also it can corrode plastic and rubber. If you don't use the proper antifreeze or don't use antifreeze at all, you end up with big problems not only on metals but as well in uh, plastic and rubber parts. So, if you do always do your maintenance, you can save a lot of money. I'm seeing this over and over again on this channel. Um, in here, they were able to repair my radiator, but in some cases, um, it does not have a repair. And this radiator here cost me 200 euros if I had to buy one. Uh, plus shipping. So I was able to fix this for a lot less money, but if uh, maintenance will be done, I did not have to mess with, with this at all. So let's assemble this and go to the next part. How does this work? How does the cooling of the engine work? Basically, as I told you on the video about the thermostat, I leave the link here up here uh, so you to see. Um, let's talk about a little bit about the, the thermostat, but the, the function, the, the principles of working, the importance of the thermostat, check it out on the other video. Now, you turn on your, your engine is cold, okay? Uh, you turn your, on your engine and the antifreeze must circulate only through the engine. It won't pass to your radiator. So the, the thermostat is in fact a valve, a thermal valve. It keeps this circuit, let's imagine it, it's, it is two circuits, the circuit of the engine and the circuit of the radiator, and the thermostat closes this circuit 
until a certain temperature. Until that temperature, the temperature of the engine must be as high as soon as possible. So you to have a, a good com uh, combustion, uh, low residual debris through to, to your oil. Well, check out th th that other video. I'll talk about that. And most of all, you have uh, warm air for your um, climate control. Now, the engine rises up on the temperature. The valve, that is that thermostat, opens. And this second circuit will open as well. Okay? It will open with it. In that way, the antifreeze, you, I have here this, uh, this uh, tool, uh, so you to see the level of the antifreeze. And with, when this valve open, that level there will fall. And uh, normally, uh, it should fall ne uh, near to the, um, the final level. Once it does that, you have to take out the tool and close the circuit. And, and wait until the fan kick in. I will take you on this journey. Let's do it step by step, so you to understand better what I'm saying. I will switch on the car now. The antifreeze is on that level. We will, we will turn on the engine. Okay, started. And now we wait for it for a few seconds so the level can level itself on the first on this first circuit and we will wait like 10 to 15 minutes a little bit more I think so the thermostat opens 10 to, to 15 to 20 minutes on idle if you are on the road uh, maybe you can do it in half of that, that time but let's do, do it in idle so we, we have a baseline okay we are 10 minutes in and I can tell you here, this, this hose here is cold. The bottom one, it is cold as well. But the, the main one that you want to pay attention is the one connected to the thermostat. Because this one is really close. And that one, the lower one, has some contact with that primary circuit. Now the, the level is alright, okay. And... The temperature is around 65, 70 degrees at 10 minutes. Uh, we are at 13 degrees Celsius outside. So let's wait until this second circuit opens and then we, we must watch the level drop down to the, the, to the level. Meanwhile, this return hose here must be hot. The, this return hose here must always uh, bleed out the air, the air, sorry, the, the, the antifreeze. It must be working at all times. Okay, this one and this one as well, the lower one. This uh, principle of working is the same for Alpha 75, Alpha 33, Alpha 155, 156, all of the cars that uses uh, um, liquid cooling use this principle of working. Of course, some work in other uh, uh, different. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. The management of the cooling may, uh, may be different in some systems. For example, the Alpha 156 does, does not have a switch uh, on the on the, the radiator, but uh, it does it in another another way. We can save that for an, another video. For example more specific video uh, although I have a video about that I'd leave it leave it up here um, so let's wait a little bit more and see what's what so we are here we we were on the 80 degrees is is heating now a little bit more than I wanted but let's talk about this for a second we are at 80 degrees 85 degrees this is the, the temperature of this car, of working of this thermostat. Um, now, if you are on the road and the temp that temperature drops uh, uh, a bit much, you have problems with the thermostat. But you can check it out 
if you have problems problems on the thermostat, if the, the top hose here or the hose connected to the thermostat began, begins to warm up, okay, it's cold yet, it's still cold, I think it's starting to open because the temperature of the engine will open up the thermal valve, okay, now yes, yes, this, this uh, top hose is starting to heat up, the air is escaping, escaping the second circuit, and now the two circuits become one. Now all of this is working together. The, sec the primary and the sec secondary circuit are working as one. Okay, now the, the level is around perfect. Okay, awesome. Now we heat it up, and the temperature Perfect. Now for the second part it's very important to take out this tool here and put the cap on and wait. The, the system will pressurize a little bit, okay? And we are waiting for the, the, the cooling fan, fan to kick in. In some cars at this stage you can t actually turn off the, the, the car, the engine, because some circuits, in my case uh, mainly because I have the front a little bit raised up, and I can be trapping air on the circuit. You can actually switch off the engine, wait a little bit to, to the system to calm, calm down a little bit, take out this tool here, put the, the proper cap, and switch on the car again. So we can test the cooling fan. But let's talk about this, this cap here. Uh, as you may not know, this cap here is not just a cap, it's not a sealant, sealer cap. This is actually a valve. Uh, depending on the, on the type uh, of, of valve, you can have a, a kilogram or a kilo and a half of pressure inside this valve. And when the, the system reaches or surpasses that pressure, this valve here lets that pressure go. In some, uh, I'm remembering here on the Iveco uh, trucks, they actually have a sensor to sense the, the pressure of the antifreeze, very clever. clever. So, uh, if you have a problem inside your cooling system, uh, actually um, more pressure than it should be, your co cover will let out that pressure. The problem is not the cover. The cover is only doing its job to let go of the pressure. Now, let's turn on the car and test the cooling fan. Now, this video here, I, I'm, I'm sorry I cannot go on the road with the car, but um, it's actually, actually a good thing, so we can first understand the principles of working of the system. Uh, now, we, it's only a matter of time before the, the fan kicks in. Um, in this case, it is a switch that is on the, the, the radiator, I'm sorry, on the radiator that actuates directly the cooling fan, but on, on other models, we have here, here, there. Uh, the signal firstly passes through the ECU and then fr from the ECU to the relay to the cooling fan. But that is for another video. Now, wh what are we expecting here? Now we have a much bigger circuit to heat up. The engine has to heat up a lot more antifreeze. Nine liters to be exact on this car is a lot of antifreeze. It's very expensive, <laughs> expensive as well at least in my country. Um, and now, when the, the, the temperature on the radiator reaches the 89, 92 degrees, I think, the fan will kick in. Okay, no surprises there. The main thing here is how much time does this cooling fan is working? And what are the intervals of working between each engagement of the fan? Let's see. Okay, so the cooling fan is it, it kicked in about 10-15 uh, seconds ago, still working. If the cooling fan does not stop, you have a serious problem, okay? Or if the cooling fan is working for a lot of time and the intervals are too short, you may have a problem with the engine. If you have a working period of about 30 seconds, of your cooling fan, let's see if, the, if it switch, switched off, 
we can also see here on the temperature gauge okay it stopped so we have here about 30 seconds depends a lot on the exterior temperature okay it stopped now for the, uh, how much long does the, the cooling fan stays off that is very important okay the longer it stays off the, the better the system is you have no problems with uh, um, blocked pipes or blocked radiators or a, a problem with the engine a gasket for example they have gasket uh, a lot of things may maybe may be happening uh, even the the switch itself can be broken okay uh, or with a lot of sludge behind the switch it messes with the the, the, um, the conductivity of the the, the, temp the temperature so it's still not working okay it's a very good sign it's a very good sign we are here about a minute of the last uh, engagement of the, the cooling fan that is very good if you want to check out for leaks now is the time take your your light and try to see if you have any leaks uh, don't try yet to level the, the antifreeze because the first time you do this job here you always have some air trapped is in inevitable uh, and um, if you take open uh, right now that cover you may be fooled with uh, some false pressure because the air um, pressurizes more than the, than the liquid uh, because of the, vap the vapors so wait like uh, an hour two hours or the next day whatever uh, don't worry about the level right now unless it's really low okay don't worry about the level right now worry yes about seeing if you have any leaks on any parts of the antifreeze system okay so i hope you like this video i hope you can consider subscribe share with your friends and hit the like button also on the description below there are a lot of information links and many things that, that i including the videos that i, that I did up here um, to help you to diagnose and take care of your car being an alfa romeo or any other brand many systems are the same so bye